Hey, what up, Flavor family? It's Desi and Bobby coming at ya. The other day on the Flavor City Instagram stories, Desi rocked a gluten-free keto cracker recipe that was the bomb, and my DMs blew up because people want to see the recipe. And it just so happens, Desi loves these crackers at the store called Simple Mills. They're gluten-free, the price tag is ridiculous. Like a small box of it is like five bucks. It pains me in the heart every time I have to buy it. But now, Desi makes them at home, plus they're keto, unlike Simple Meals, plus they're cheaper and they're so darn tasty. So let's rock Desi's keto gluten-free cracker recipe. Almond flour crackers with sunflower seeds, flax eggs, and ground rosemary, and baked in the oven with some crunchy bits on top. Before we rock this recipe, hook us up and subscribe to our channel because every single week, including twice a week in the very, very near future, we're going to be rocking videos. And Bobby's super excited about that. I'll be helping. Let's do it. All right, we're, we're starting with two cups of almond flour. I sifted the almond flour before we started to get rid of any chunks and make it really nice and fine. Next up, we're going to add half a cup of sunflower seeds. I ground those in a spice grinder before we started. You can use a spice grinder or a blender to do that. And these are roasted unsalted sunflower seeds, right? Yes, roasted is better. You're gonna get more flavor out of it. So I'm gonna add that to the almond flour. Next up, half a teaspoon of salt and an eighth of a teaspoon of ground rosemary. A rosemary is very strong, guys. That's why you need just eighth of a teaspoon. What if you can't find ground rosemary powder? You can use uh, ground thyme or ground oregano. So I'm gonna mix everything very well now. The smell of the roasted sunflower seed powder is really intense, I like that. And when you bake it in the oven and have, have it later on, it has a nice strong nutty flavor. Next step, we're gonna add two flax eggs. I made those by combining two tablespoons of flax meal and six tablespoons of water. The flax egg, is pretty much a substitute of egg in vegan cooking. It's gonna be our binder in the crackers. And then grab two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and whisk that with the flax eggs. Now it's time to add our wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. So now I'm gonna mix this until all of the ingredients are combined. This is pretty much the same dough as we used for our um, keto biscotti. Yeah, you should definitely check them out. They were so delicious. Uh, they're slightly different because we have a little bit of sweetener in them. Oh, also exciting now is the giveaway that's going on right now. Desi and I collaborated with Rachel at the Stay at Home Chef and Zwilling Cookware. We're giving away three sets of cookware to three different people. Enter the giveaway by clicking the link down in the description box. It's pretty darn epic. Three prizes, three winners. Check it out. Switch to your hands and you can see that the dough really comes together. This looks good. Uh, next up, we have to roll it out into a really thin sheet. For that, use some parchment paper. By the way, I did also preheat the oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, so. Oh, thanks, babe. You're welcome. And I need a little bit of shot of olive oil. Olive oil, yes, ma'am. Yeah. So this was probably the toughest part of the recipe, rolling it thin, getting it to like a cracker-like consistency, which is why, once again, this is a Desi kind of thing. I could not do this. My clumsy hands do not have the dexterity for that. <laughs> Place another piece of parchment paper on top and use a rolling pin to roll out the dough. So you guys have been asking for a lot of keto snack recipes. Well, here's one of them. Also, make sure to check out these low-carb keto bagels and these low-carb keto muffins loaded with feta cheese and spinach. All of these recipes are on flavecity.com. Once the dough is rolled 80% of the way, sprinkle on some everything bagel seasoning. Use about a tablespoon. If you don't have that, just sprinkle some sea salt and some sesame seeds on top and then continue rolling out the dough. This will get the seasoning to stick to the dough. All right, continue rolling out the dough. It should take up the entire parchment paper. The dough is now spread out and it's about an eighth of an inch thick. To make those crackers easy to bake and eat, we're going to cut them now into shapes. This is actually my contribution to the recipe. You started using this with a knife to cut it. And I said, babe, use the pizza wheel 
and it makes it super easy, so that's his my contr contribution. Good call by Bobby. Thank you. Go ahead and cut the dough into a one by one inch squares. That looks great, and now we just transfer it over to a sheet tray and bake it in the oven for about 45 minutes. All right. It's been 45 minutes and look at these crackers, golden brown and delicious. Those are the definition of GBD, baby. Uh, let these guys cool down for about 20 minutes and then they'll be ready to break up and serve. If you don't let them rest a full 20 minutes and they're not gonna be super crispy. So your patience will be rewarded, I promise. You wanna help me break those down, babe? Oh, <laughs> you already got one. Are you helping me? No, I'm eyeing the one I wanna eat. Mm -hmm. Are you hear that? Oh my god, how is it, babe? Crispy, nutty, mm. and perfect. The simple meals ain't got nothing on those, babe. Oh my god, they're so good, you guys. Some cheddar cheese on top, a mm. schmear of cream cheese, sour cream, and like caviar. Mm. The options are endless. Plate this up, baby, so Brandon can crush them with you. Ultimate keto snack. It is the ultimate keto snack. In between lunch and dinner, meal, a little fix. This is gonna hook you up. And there it is, you guys. Gluten-free keto crackers loaded with seeds and nuts and everything. Everything. They're delicious. Brandon, come in here and try this. Sit on this one. <laughs> I might have to try a second one oh, to yeah. really get a, a <laughs> fair. <Upper bar>. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, the recipe is down below in the description box. Make sure you share it, like this video, the macros, the storage. I'll be storing these things, by the way. In a Ziploc bag on your counter. Yeah, don't put them in the fridge. There's too much humidity in there. Um, also, subscribe to our channel. Share the video. There's two more delicious snack recipes going below us right now. But we'll see you very soon. Until then. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love, guys. Peace.